All right, guys, uh, this is Dane with uh, Rising Phoenix Antiques. As always, thanks for watching a uh, video with us. Um, you can check us out on Facebook at Rising Phoenix Antiques or on eBay at Rising Phoenix on the net, all one word. That's our user ID. So uh, We post these videos of items that we have for sale. If you watch this video, then go to eBay to uh, find that item and it's gone. It's because someone beat you to it. But uh, anyways, today we are checking out what I think is a pretty rare Marantz console set. And we'll close this up just so you can kind of get a look at it. Basically, this is a, a, a faux wood grain console. Um, and you can see it's the width of two full pieces down here so um you've got the uh console stereo amplifier which is the pm350 you've got the um uh let's see where's the oh here it is we'll explain this in a minute but this is the cassette deck so that's the sd uh 3310 i believe that says 3510 and that's so that's the stereo uh deck um, then I, I don't know if there were separates you know, that you could mix and match, but of course we also have the uh, tuner right here, which is the uh, ST310, and then over here we've got the TT1020 um, turntable. So we have four pieces total. We have a couple of the manuals. This is for the cassette deck, and then this is uh, basically the schematics for the amplifier which is rated at 40 watts per channel rms so it's a solid little piece the nice thing about this stuff is um as you can see uh right here you've got uh the still has the original display label on it uh here you've got the same matching label and then here you've got the same matching label so three of the four pieces still have display labels on them uh, none of this stuff looks like it was used very much at all, um, and it's in near mint condition. Uh, so, uh, amplifier works great. Um, we're not finding any static or anything. Um, you may find a little bit. We're not going to take this stuff apart to clean it, um, with the exception of the cassette deck. And we'll explain that to you in a minute. So we've got the amplifier works great. Tuner works great. Um, the cassette deck, we could not figure out why we couldn't get it to work. Uh, now we're about to tell you why. So you push the open button. Beautiful. Opens right up. Um, but right there is the large uh, drive pulley wheel. And, of course, the belt disintegrated. And there is the old belt right there. And if you look, uh, let's see, right up there, you can see that the motor is indeed spinning. So it is ready to work. Um, but because there's no belt, none of that works. But what you do is, once your cassette's loaded, you push that closed and then all your controls are right there. Your counter does work because we turned um, this drive spindle by hand. Um, two meters that are obviously lit up. Uh, so the cassette deck is awesome. We're going to look into getting a replacement belt ordered uh, as soon as we're done with this video. Um, so then we go to the fourth piece, which is the turntable, and this was not working either. And again, it's because um, that uh, belt had disintegrated, and we only had there was one tiny piece of it left. We have already ordered the replacement belt for this. It's on the way. But you can see there's your drive motors right there. So we're gonna, sorry about the shaking here. So as soon as you uh, move the tone arm, that drive motor kicks right on, nice and quiet, no problems. And then if you, because the platter's not on here, which we have right over here, of course, I'll show you, um, the reject function works well as well. Um, you've got a beautiful dust cover with very minimal wear. Um, but anyways, there's the platter and then the platter cover. So the four pieces are awesome. And we've never seen a complete set like this. 
definitely never seen a slim design stereo console. So um, you guys uh, enjoy it, and thanks for watching as always.